This video is part two of the series on breast cancer and happy theory. According to happy theory, masturbation will make a human being blind and crippled. There are other activities that either cause or are associated with the same symptoms as those caused by masturbation. Excessive sex, injection of drugs, snorting of drugs, anorexia, and excessive exercise are all associated with the same changes to the body as those caused by masturbation. This video is going to use one of the bodily changes associated with anorexia to help describe what, according to Happy Theory, is one of the factors involved with the development of breast cancer. This picture will be used to demonstrate a human body change by anorexia. According to Happy Theory, one of the ways that anorexia affects the human body is to cause the development of a large depression in the side of the torso. A natural question that comes to mind is, why is anorexia associated with a depression in the side of the torso? The answer to that question requires a simplistic definition of yin-yang theory to be provided first. According to yin-yang theory, the human body is composed of yin and yang. Yang is defined as hard, while yin is defined as soft. Men are considered to be yang, while women are considered to be yin. Although men are yang and women are yin theoretically, the human body in reality is a combination of yin and yang. A man, even though his body is strongly yang, does have yin in his body. A woman, even though her body is strongly yin, does have yang in her body. According to Happy Theory, the reason why anorexia is associated with a depression in the side of the torso is because anorexia is associated with shrinkage of the yin part of the body. Because of the way that the human body is constructed, shrinkage of the yin part of the body will cause the development of a depression in one side of the torso or the other. The breasts are arguably the softest part of the female body. Yin was defined as soft, so the breast could be considered to be one of the most yin parts of the body. If shrinkage of the yin part of the body shrinks one side of the torso or the other so much that a visible depression is created, it seems logical that the breast, which were described as one of the most yin parts of the female body, would also exhibit shrinkage that was visible to the unaided eye. According to Happy Theory, shrinkage of the yin part of the body will cause shrinkage of the breast area by some amount. It is the shrinkage of the breast area, or specifically the shrinkage of the yin part of the breast, that is one of the factors involved with the development of breast cancer. A logical next question to ask would be, why is shrinkage of the yin part of the breast involved with the development of breast cancer? According to Happy Theory, the shrinkage of the yin part of the breast will constrict the breast so that the proper flow of blood, nerve impulses, and energy into the breast are all interfered with. According to Happy Theory, the interruption in the proper flow of blood, nerve impulses, and energy into the breast will cause the breast or a subsection of the breast to wither and develop breast cancer like a plant deprived of water will wither and die. The next part of the video will present a way to visualize why shrinkage of the yin part of the body causes a shrinkage of the breast area of the body. This picture shows a model of a female body. The rectangular box in this picture will represent a section of the yin part of the body. The yin box is then superimposed on the body so that it spans the area from the hips to the shoulders and from the center to the outside of the torso. According to Happy Theory, the yin part of the body can be thought of as acting like a balloon. It is impossible to shrink just one part of a balloon. If a balloon loses air, the entire balloon shrinks. A depression in the side of the torso of an anorexic human being was used to demonstrate how shrinkage of the yin part of the body visibly changes a human body. This picture shows the yin box with a depression in it at the same location as the depression in the side of the anorexic woman. If the yin part of the body acts like a balloon though, the torso section of the box cannot shrink by itself. 
the entire yin box must shrink by the same amount as the depression in the side of the torso. This picture shows the entire box representing the yin part of the body reduced by the same amount as the section of the box at the side of the torso was reduced. The top and bottom of the box have also been pulled towards the depression in the torso. The box no longer covers as much of the body as it did. Most pertinent to this video is that the box no longer covers as much of the breast area of the body as it did. According to Happy Theory, that is how the yin part of the body behaves in real life. Strong shrinkage of the yin part of the body will shrink the side of the torso causing the development of a large depression and it will also shrink the breast and the surrounding area of the body by some amount. The box representing the yin part of the body only enclose the torso area of the body to help focus on the breast area. The yin part of the body would be more accurately portrayed if the rectangular box was enlarged to enclose the entire side of the body from the top of the head to the feet. The shrinkage of the yin part of the body will have the same effect on the large yin box as it did on the small yin box. If the yin part of the body shrank enough to produce a depression in the side of the torso, the entire side of the large yin box must also shrink a proportional amount. The top and bottom of the box will be pulled towards the depression in the side of the torso, just like the top and bottom of the small yin box were pulled towards the depression in the side of the torso. This picture shows a normal sized yin box on the other half of the body. The yin boxes are different sizes, which makes them unbalanced. Because the yin box on the right side of the body is smaller, the body would naturally tilt over to the right. The implication of the unbalanced yin boxes is that a human body that has experienced enough shrinkage of the yin part of the body to cause the development of a large depression in the side of the torso would also shrink the yin part of the body so much that the body would be unable to stand up straight. The unbalanced body will tend to lean to one side or the other. The first video in this series discussed the woman shown in this picture who publicly declared that she was being treated for breast cancer. According to this video, that means the yin part of the woman's body should be shrunken. If the claims of this video are correct, that shrinkage of the yin part of the body contributes to the development of breast cancer, then the body of this real-life woman with breast cancer should provide some evidence to support that claim. The woman is wearing body covering clothes so it is not possible to examine the breast to see if it shows signs of yin shrinkage, nor is it possible to inspect the side of the torso to see if there is a depression in it. The only other bodily change specifically spelled out in the video was that shrinkage of the yin part of the body would cause that body to lean to one side or the other. Because the woman is wearing clothing, the only symptom that can be checked for is leaning of the body to one side or the other. In this example picture, the woman is standing mostly erect. This picture appears to contradict the claims of this video. This woman has breast cancer, so according to this video, her body should lean to one side or the other, but the woman is standing up straight. While this particular picture does not show the body of the woman leaning to one side or the other, it should be noted that the woman's head is leaning over to her right. This picture shows the woman leaning to the right. This picture supports the claim of this video that a woman with breast cancer will lean to one side or the other. One picture is not very convincing proof though. Here is another picture of the woman leaning to her right. This picture also shows the woman leaning to her right. The woman leans to the right in this picture. And the woman also leans to the right in this picture. Those five pictures corroborate the claims in this video. According to Happy Theory, shrinkage of the yin part of the body can contribute to the development of breast cancer and involuntary leaning of the body to one side or the other. These five pictures show the woman leaning to her right and the woman has breast cancer.